All right, I sure as hell hope I don't have to change the battery and and this doesn't go into some whatever. I've been wanting to do this all day, man. I was even telling my boss, she was like, and she's not into this, obviously. Or I wish she was, obviously, but um, she's not. But I was like getting into the, uh, the minutia of the, like talking about supply points, like, and strength points. And she's just like looking at me going, what? Um, anyways, I was like, so here we go. I'm going to do both combat. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to use the standardized, the original uh, Sterling edition. I know he came up with a second version of it with some column shifts. From what I know, like Juste Guard even uh, mentioned it, he, he used it, I think, in the Romanian um, uh, campaign, the, the new version, and he was like, to be honest with you, it didn't do all that much difference, and I just re read another comment about it anyways. All right, that being said, secondly, I said in the last video if I was going to do with the armies here, the British armies, if they're going to coordinate, try to coordinate their attacks um, or cor coordinate their strength onto one attack, that there was going to be column shifts. And I real I know today I was like, well, what was the whole point in having a D12? was to uh, ensure that the die roll modifiers, the pluses and minuses that your Velkrieg introduces actually have an impact because they flatten out real flipping quick um, for the attacker kind of thing because you can only go down to a minus one on the die roll if you, uh, I'm not gonna, well, I'll try to do whatever. And I'm not too sure it stops at 50. And when you see the amount of strength points I'm about to, uh, the British are about to, to nail on this thing, it's it's unbelievable. I'll try to zoom in and out, maybe. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm not sure if this is the way you're supposed to do it, so when we go to 50, I'm gonna go around the block again and just keep adding more strength points. It just makes sense to me. Um, there, it's, I've never, ever mounted an attack mounted an attack with uh, with this amount of strength points and supply points, this is going to be wild to watch. Um, I was saying to my boss, this is like, I'm going to the extreme with this. This is going to be really, really neat. I'm really excited. Okay, so I'll give you some wrinkles about what's going on. Remember, this is 1915 now. We've got entrenchment. We're on the Western Front. I'm not used to the Western Front. All that stuff. All right, so I'm just going to remove, well, practically obliterated um, the German troop here. I just wanted to show you a little bit of the train and some of the from like I said I may be getting things wrong I don't think so now uh, do I have to get rid of that purple dude too okay so if you look here he's in clear train and or uh, urban uh, suburban terrain and kind of um, suburban, uh, urban terrain here, but he's not being tacked through that terrain and he need, it's not the city, he's not in the city center and there's not two of them around him. So he cannot use, uh, uh, these Germans cannot use the, in conjunction with the entrenchment, they cannot use the, which is unfortunate for them, they cannot use that bit. All right. They're just in Luss, and that's it. We're attacking Luss. And this is, as far as I'm concerned, when you start looking at the hist history of Luss, the Battle of Luss, and what I'm doing here, this becomes plausible. Okay, this is not Lil. This is Luss. Do you, okay, you, do you understand? Like, th they did break through for a little while. Now you're going to see what happens, as far as I'm concerned. I can already see what's about to happen, unless I get some bizarre die rolls is I'm probably going to be able to take Luss, but not too much else. This is it. I'm just going to stop. It's because I'm going to be blowing so much supply points right now to do what I want to do, regardless which way I want to go. But it's going to be interesting. I have no idea how many um, hits I'll be able to do with this. Like I said, it flattens out real flipping quick because I can only go down to a minus one on the die roll. It's a die six system, a D6 system. What the hell do you want? There's so many mon uh, minuses about to uh, pop up here. It's not funny. It doesn't matter anymore is what I'm trying to say. With my D12, it still does because once you get down to the one and you still have some more modifiers, that's when the, sh uh, the column shifts occur. May not do much, 
but the die roll modifiers is cer certainly going to drop you down. Okay, we're going to go quick or quickish. Maybe I shouldn't go so quick, but um, I, it's just I've been so excited to try this out. You have no idea. I'm not just going to do the first combat. I wanted to go off into Wonderland, but uh, I'm not going to be able to do that. I've got other stuff to do. Um, a gazillion other things to do. Okay, so I wrote it down, thank God. So we're going to go here. So 1006. That's 45 strength points. That's going to cost me 12 supply points from this dude. Okay? He's going to be down to 8. We're just going to deal with that later. Uh, the next guy is 0907. And you are this guy. And he's got 35 infantry strength points. They're going to cost me nine supply points from the orange dude. Then I also have, and this we're going to also talk about some interesting wrinkles. Maybe I'll, I'll zoom it in a little bit for now. I don't know if you can hear some murmuring downstairs. It's uh, I was listening, to, or I was participating actually, in World War One TV live stream. It's still going on, but I was like, no, I got to get out of here. Um, for a variety of reasons, nothing negative. It's just, I was like, it, it's turning into like a uh, water cooler chat for me. And I was like, no, I just get out of here. Um, okay, so we're at uh, 0907. We've got, like I said, 35. I'll talk about why it's so nice to have this artillery. Monster artillery though. Artillery is weird. In, well, not really weird in uh, Dravel Krieg. It's either fully supplied or it's not. You can't like half ass with artillery. It's either you fully supply it or it's not used. It's not like, oh, I'm not going to supply the artillery so I can just use half its strength points. No, uh, you have to supply it fully if you want to use it. This is 1915 on the Western Front. This guy is entrenched. Uh, he has five or more uh, infantry, infantry strength points in that hex, which means he's now he now has a solid defense. The solid defense means I need at least three artillery strength points in the attack not to suffer additional penalties. No worries because my British artillery over there, which I called Albert, is uh, an attack strength of seven. That's insane. I have to look that up again, but I think it was seven. It doesn't matter. It's going to cost me a load of uh, supply points. I've got a, uh, it's two... Um, Supply points per strength point for artillery, not four. Uh, so that's 14 right off the block from this little dude. Plus I got 35. Like I said, that was um, an additional nine. Uh, that comes up to, I just flip and make it, 23. So <laughs> do you see how monstrous, um, this is not me breaking the bank yet. I haven't altered the rules. I'm just showing you how unbelievably expensive it is to do things and how... Um, Okay, you may I uh, may be able to make a breakthrough, but that's it. I probably can't carry through anymore. Um, this is wonderful. All right, so then uh, the next dude will be my third guy over here from this green guy. He's got 42 strength points, and if I want to fully supply uh, that thing, it's going to be 11. I know I'm squandering supply, but we're going to go on with an... Un I've never in a million trillion years <laughs> used this many strength points... Uh, on one hex. This is nuts. It comes out to a total of 129 strength points. I'm going towards Luss here with some artillery like I needed it because of the um, solid defense. Now that guy is only in clear terrain so no die roll mod or fire for that. However, um, he is entrenched which means and like I said with the solid defense I cannot um, well, I've counteracted that with the uh, at least seven st uh, strength points of artillery going in here for the attack. I need to at least inflict 20 uh, hits or more for uh, these guys to, uh, to decide, you know what, we're getting the hell out of here. There's a pretty darn good chance I'm going to do it with my CRT. But I'm going to show you the die roll uh, defectors, and this is where we start going into my world. Um, and I'm going to show you the normal thing, and it's going to be fascinating to see. Like I said, I'm going to do that little loop around the block or whatever, and see if that um, it's kind of kind of similar to mine. I don't know, but anyways, like I said, here we go. It's going. And I'm going to mine's a D12 and uh, Dravel Krieg's a D6. 
So we're going to get, because they're entrenched, it's an automatic minus two, regardless, both sides. But with my command and control thing that I like to do, I've got three different armies attacking uh, one hex. The coordination is not great right now. So I'm going to get an, an additional minus two to my die roll modifier. So that's minus four to my die roll. That's it. I'm going to roll a d12 and away we go on 129 strength points on one hex insane in the membrane but that's kind of like to me what sounds like the opening days of uh, the whole nine yards here we go so i get a one one well kind of a cool thing in a weirdo way because what this is going to do is start showing the column shifts yes so what i did was like i said before so i had a minus four to my die roll i've hit a one which means i now have to go three column shifts to the left of what I would do on 129. All right, I hope this makes sense. I have to print out some new stuff today because I was like, never even considered that there was gonna be a possibility I would do 129. All right, I don't know if you can see this, hope to God you do. So I'm gonna, um, I'll just fold it, doesn't matter. This is for the video. All right, so on 129, I would be at a one, and then I column shift three over. One, two, three. Didn't really, oops, sorry. So I'm at 129. One, two, three. So I'll do 29 hits. You can see that, no. There you go, sorry guys. So there we go. So I was at, like I said, 129 strength points, but because I rolled a one, and I still have a die roll modifier of minus four, Oh no, I'd still do my uh, do the four. What am I talking about? One, two, three, four. Just, well, I'm still at 29, but it would have been at 28 if something else would happen, if you get the idea. So that's it. So I did 29 hits on this, on, on um, this guy here. 29, which means I've gone beyond the amount he has to, he has to retreat. Now the other weirdo wrinkles, as far as I know, I think I'm doing this right. The artillery will be destroyed at the end of this attack because they're not allowed to retreat. However, they're still under these circumstances. There's another little other wrinkle they're not allowed to do. If I want to, uh, oh shit, 